On January 1st, the New Horizons spacecraft will ring in the new year in a way we've never seen before, by flying past the most distant object in the solar system ever attempted. And we are going to bring it to you live. Welcome back to Launchpad. I'm Christian Reddy, your friendly neighborhood astronomer. Well, I can't believe this, but I've been given an amazing Christmas present, and that is to attend the New Horizons flyby of the Kuiper Belt object, Ultima Thule, on early morning, January 1st of New Year's Day. And I am so excited to have this present that I want to share it with you in a 24-hour live stream extravaganza. Now, I'm going to tell you all about the live stream details in a moment, but first, let's just take a quick update of the New Horizons mission. In August, New Horizons acquired its first image of Ultima Thule. This object is a billion kilometers beyond Pluto, and New Horizons is approaching it at 14 kilometers per second. Now, this means that if there were to be any debris surrounding Ultima Thule, such as moons, uh, fragments, particles, or maybe even a ring system, they could prove fatal to New Horizons if it struck it at that speed. So the mission team used New Horizons Long Range Reconnaissance Imager, or LORI, telescope to take very deep images of Ultima Thule. Now the original mission plan called for New Horizons to pass within 3,500 kilometers of Ultima Thule. This would be about three times closer than New Horizons approached Pluto. Now, had there been any hazards, the mission team could maneuver the spacecraft to a more distant 10,000 kilometer flyby. Now, this would have meant for a safer flyby, but it also would have resulted in lower resolution data. Thankfully, the hazard avoidance team couldn't find any debris within the flyby radius of the spacecraft. And this means that New Horizons is cleared hot to buzz Ultima Thule as originally planned. And so we're going to get the highest resolution data possible. Eventually, that is. Remember, Ultima Thule is about six light hours from Earth. And not only that, but New Horizons is broadcasting at a data rate of about one kilobit per second. That means it's going to take two full years to download all of the data. However, the team already has a plan in place to get us the first image as soon as possible. The schedule of events calls for New Horizons to fly past Ultima at about 12.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 1st. After the flyby, the spacecraft will orient its main antenna back toward Earth and transmit an I survived signal. That signal will need about six hours to traverse, well, pretty much the solar system. So at 10 a.m. on January 1st, the I survived signal should arrive at Mission Control at the Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland. The second order of business will be to receive the first thumbnail image of the close approach which should have get in sometime around maybe 6 p.m., 8 p.m. that night. But the point is that we're going to have to be patient because the speed of light is a constant and you just can't do any better than that. But while we are waiting, we're going to have a New Year's celebration unlike anything we've ever done before. I'm partnering with my good friend Tony Darnell over at Deep Astronomy and the wonderful folks at Tomorrow TV to begin a live stream around 12 noon on December 31st, going all the way to 12 noon the following day. Now, during the stream, Tony and I will talk with scientists and engineers from the New Horizons mission, from NASA, from the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, and also with fellow science communicators, including, but not limited to, Fraser Kane from Universe Today, Emily Lakdawalla from the Planetary Society, Space Mike from Epic Future Space, Scott Manley, John Michael Godier, Sean Carroll, and certainly, last but definitely not least, Dr. Alan Stern, the principal investigator for New Horizons. Now, if you would like to help support this live stream, you certainly can do that in a couple of ways. You could join my Patreon, or if you like this shirt, you can have it. I have a Teespring account and you can check out some uh, Launchpad merch. As a matter of fact, maybe I should do a uh, commemorative live stream shirt. What do you think? And uh, you know what else? If you can't even kick in a couple of bucks, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and like and share this and tell others about this event because we want to make this the event to watch on New Year's. 
Now, if you are new here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way, you won't miss out on any notifications. When the stream comes up, when it goes out, when it comes back on again, you should get a notification when we're live if you ring the notification bell. And above all else, I appreciate you being here with me on Launchpad Astronomy. I've learned so much this year in 2018, and I have so many ideas for 2019. But for now, let us celebrate the flyby of Ultima Thule. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you on New Year's Eve. Let's do this. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome!